wanted to do either the like musical or the improv, and I just think like making up stuff is more fun than doing the same thing over and over again. You just use your impulses. Oh, we learned lots of games. <laughs> We're the co-directors of the Improvisational Theater Camp uh, here at UMass. Improvisational theater and the way we're doing it in long form from improvisational theater is very actor-based in that it, it, we use all the principles of really good, honest acting work. So, Joe, how's it going? Not really good, buddy. So, have you seen my treasure chest lately? It's completely unscripted. It's completely unscripted and completely surprised. We create everything from the ensemble, but what we do, we give the kids the structure to work in so that they, they have something to hang the improvisation on, the techniques. We've, we've been playing a lot of games. And some, like exercises. To build to our like ultimate goal of like long form uh, improvisation. It was pretty tough. Yeah, and it was it tough, was but it was really, worth it. It was yeah, really yeah, fun. Definitely. When we have a question from the audience, please. Why are the mountains so high? Whoa! 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 Whoa. The whole idea is Whoa. that in improvisational Whoa. scene work, you have to say yes. If you say no, everything stops and dies. Not only do you have to say yes, but you have to say yes and add information, give the other player information that he or she can then accept and then use. So uh, as an exercise, we uh, have two lines. One is uh, one, in, the people in one line are responsible for making the offer and the people in the second line are responsible for accepting the offer. So uh, the first person says, Oh, your shirt is gorgeous. And the second person says, thank you for noticing. Yes, and thank you for noticing, my darling. Yeah, and it looks like lice. I think I ate too much. Yeah, and I think you should go over there. It, it's not that fun of a game itself, but it teaches you a, a lot of the, the main ideas that you need. For so, yeah. <laughs> With this potion, I will take over the entire world. I really liked uh, the scene work we did uh, because I felt today we really started really communicating between the actors rather than just like going off on tangents and like going for the joke. Like we had, there was a lot more uh, communication and we really developed relationships better. Make eye contact with each other. You have to have a need, right? Don't fall in love with an idea of a character. The two of us make a whole. Um, <laughs> we've, uh, we've, we've known each other since college, and we, in fact, uh, were in an improvisational theater company in college. And we took, uh, after, after college, we both became professional actors. Charlie's really cool. He has this relaxing thing that's really awesome. And Kevin's really cool, too, because he like, makes up all the games for us and teaches us how to do them. They're both, like, they're full of compliments, but they're also, like... Like, they're hard great. working. Yeah, they, yeah. like, want to bring out the best. Yeah, and they're going to push us, so it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, my gosh, it's magical. That's awesome. Here, why don't you try? Oh, my God, where'd you go? Can you see me? No, I can't, but I can hear you. When t two actors, two, as two characters, or three or four or five, are working, whatever happens is happening as a result of that moment, of those people and that audience in fact being there at that moment because the whole experience is and should be transitory uh, the illusion of the first time is what the actor uh, in any medium uh, is is after and this is in its purest form what that is I lost game oh yeah big booty big booty big booty These guys have really bonded and are having a great time. It's hard to drag them out of the uh, theater for breaks because uh, yesterday we went from 9 to about 12, 15 without any breaks. And then we 
all had to remind ourselves in the afternoon, hey, we need to take some breaks. It really, it really helped the whole personal connection thing. We got to connect with a lot of different people, meet some friends. It was fun. Improvisational theater, and in fact, when theater is done in the improvisational spirit that we just talked about, teaches teamwork. It teaches quick thinking and quick problem solving. And because that emphasis is on the group and not on the individual student, as the week goes on, the creativity, because they don't feel the pressure, the, the, the creativity is allowed to explode out of these kids. That, and and we're, we're, the two of us are really surprised sometimes by kids and what their creativity can be. I'm kind of taking like a newfound, not newfound love, but like a reaffirmed love for acting. I don't know, like every time I do one of these camps, it really, it's like, wow, I, I enjoy this so much. Like I have to do this as my career. Like I'm so passionate about this. It's like, it's just like a reaffirmation of like how much I love acting basically. So it's, it's pretty great. Yeah. I was on rhythm! I was on rhythm! I was on rhythm!